an actor and his rescue. Holy smokes, wait till you hear this story. Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light. I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by. Yeah. I just see her face where ever I look, she's standing in the crowd. I'm so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place Whoa. where <laughs> people forget <laughs> and you get <laughs> out the try. This is Bailey. Bailey's a rescue dog from Tennessee. Um, I got her during the pandemic as well as many other people got their dog during the pandemic. Uh, she was four months old and I saw a picture online and knew right away that this was the dog for me, for my family. Uh, she's half German Shepherd, half Golden Retriever. So she has a great personality and I just got so lucky bringing her up. It was a group called Companion Pet Rescue out of South Erie, Connecticut. They brought her up. Uh, in a transport along with many other dogs and we all met it was during the pandemic so it was all COVID friendly and uh, she came out of the truck and it was an instantaneous bond this is my first dog actually but I've always had an affinity for dogs I've always wanted one I never in a million years could have imagined the bond that is formed between a dog and especially a rescue dog for some reason she's she's really attached uh, she just wants to please I'm just so glad that I was able to help her out animal in need so I'm, all, I'm also an actor. I spent a lot of time in New York City. I spent a lot of time traveling. But I always make a point to be there for Bailey just the same way that she's there for me. And one of the ways that I can talk about that she helped me in a role actually was I was playing RFK in a one-man show, a production of uh, Robert F. Kennedy. And I was playing Kennedy and I would walk late at night. There's a 90-acre park, a golf course right across the street from my house. And uh, Bailey and I would walk all night and that's how I learned my script. 43 pages of script and I would do a scene at a time, walking for two or three hours a night. Uh, so she helped me with that. So Bailey, shout out to you. Bailey's definitely responsible for part of my success in learning those 43 pages. And uh, she's just someone good. She, it's cathartic, you know, you get there, a dog is always ready to greet you, always happy to see you, regardless of whether you have a good day, bad day. They're just there, they love you unconditionally. We run, there's trails in the 90 acre park across the street from my house. Um, we'll take uh, long, long hikes at different trails throughout the areas, go for swims in different lakes. We go to the beach, we go everywhere, go to dog parks. So um, we're always being active and that keeps me active uh, together with my training of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So I'm a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I even bring her sometimes to the gym and she'll run around on the mats. Uh, she tore the mats at my house to pieces with her nails, but that's another point. I give her a pass because she's a rescue, you know, I got to be a little easy on her. But uh, it's great having her around and it definitely keeps me on my toes, keeps me active all the time. And there's never a dull moment. There's always something to do. You know, if I'm not working, if I'm not playing with my kids, if I'm not, I could be playing with my dog. Uh, I love being busy, so she definitely does that for me. Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see your face wherever I look 